Hello everybody, this is Klaus with another ski analysis clip. Uh, before I start, I'd like to thank John, who is uh, the skier here in the picture and who allowed me to use his uh, footage. Uh, thank you, John. Uh, John has made some really good progress. He's used my first DVD and you can find his report in the description of this clip. Uh, also, the full 18-minute analysis can be found in the member area on sofaskischool.com which is free for customers. That's it, uh, have a look at it, um, watch and maybe see if you can spot uh, the strengths and weaknesses and um, see if you can maybe recognize yourself. I hope you like it and uh, have a great winter, bye bye. Listen, let's slow it down a little more. There are a few elements in your turns, in your skiing that I really like, that are really strong and uh, one of them is uh, your turn initiation, how you recenter in between the turns. And um, you can see that very nicely here now, the end of the turn, you get the pressure and now you get the release and you have one moment here where you now are standing 50-50 with your weight over your feet, spotting, looking ahead, where do I want to make that next turn? And that's something that you're doing uh, quite nice and consistently uh, to really do a lot, move forward, get enough release for, for that next turn. And if you get to a position like this, if you have a moment where you can uh, plan that next turn, then it's then also really much easier to then build up a solid and good position to step on it. And uh, all the, also these positions I like a lot. There are some really nice, uh, nice angles that you're skiing there. Again, turn initiation and now you're building up position to get yourself more over the outside ski. So um, let's draw some lines here to point that out even more, but I think it's quite obvious how we can see these are the things that we like, how you get in that position, how you pull yourself nicely forward and sideways a little more in this direction so that you can get enough pressure on that outside ski. The side where that works better is your turn to the left and um, the turn where this position is a little weaker is the turn to the right is this one here if you have a look at uh, the position here you can see that you're not able to build up the same angles and then as a consequence that these turns uh, to the right sometimes get a little bigger here in the flat it doesn't really uh, make uh, a lot of difference it's actually this position is actually probably good enough for this kind of terrain because it's flat, the force is not big and if you have a look at your skis, both of your skis are carving nicely on a fairly nice turn. Just at the end we see a little bit of a, a stem of a losing of the outside ski here. In the steeps uh, this looks a little different. In the steeps it is more important that we're cleaner because the force is bigger and therefore being a little bit off a little bit too much on the inside uh, will have the result that it ca that we get carried down more that we maybe get pushed in the back a little more and that also that outside ski stem uh, gets a little worse And then on this side we can see that you're riding this more, that there is less active coming forward on this side than on the other side and that the hip is not as clean there. So that would be the first thing I would work on with you to clean out this uh, the left footer, to clean out the position there so that you then on both sides can get similar performances. Have a look at this, also this turn I like a lot if you have a look at this how you build up position and you know this is really good again continue to step on it, don't give it up in the last moment, that would be the weakness here on this side. You see the same thing happening, the punch from your right arm and a little bit the loss of the right leg. But up to this moment here, watch this, the initiation and now stepping on it, that's a really nice shot, great picture here. Um, and so first goal that we get, um, that we're able to do this, also on the other side, so that also on this side we can get in a stronger position. And the reason in this moment why you're not able to do it as well uh, lies in the hip. There's a lot of information about that on the uh, new DVD as well, uh, about 
how it works, where the hip should be, the example with the fence, getting the hip on the bar stool, because what happens is that if that hip here becomes too square, then you block yourself. Whereas on this side here, the hip comes around and now all you can do is lean in and ride that turn to the end. To illustrate that even more, I put these two positions next to each other. And I think that uh, should show this very nice as well, the difference between this here and over there. I'll do the lines one more time. Like, I think you can see that uh, the red lines here are the ones that are the problem here that these are the areas where we bank in and also the hip the problem where the hip comes around a little too much whereas on this side we're in a in a position where we are still able to adjust and where we're still able to do this a little more to pull the hip up a little more so come forward and pull the hip on the bar stool at the same time which will uh, put our outside ski more in charge Whereas on this side, once you're in a position like this, all you can do is ride it to the end. Beautiful painting. Um, perfect. Let's um, have another special effect going here. If I now turn that, uh, your better turn around, I think you can see it even more, how big the difference there is and what needs to be, to be done there. And another special effect. Oh yeah, that works like this. That's when we put them over each other. So hip around, banking in, dropping the hip versus uh, being more angulated, being cleaner. Again, in that uh, bottom section there, um, this is not really a problem. This is actually probably good enough and there's nothing wrong with skiing that turn like this. And um, we can also see it in the performance that there's not, you're actually riding that turn nicely. But um, if we want to um, also ski it better in the steeps, or if we want to do better in the short turns, then we need to clean this out a little bit. <laughs> 